Hey guys, my name is Ishita and I make step-by-step -step tutorial for your convenience. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. So today we are going to make this beautiful painting that is for the wine and I love the color combinations and how it turned out. So I'll explain you step by step. So for starting, I have taken 180 GSM acid free paper with that my favorite watercolor palette and I've already traced this picture onto my paper and I'll be using mop brushes and Princeton long round brushes to complete this painting. Let's go ahead and start the painting. First step will be to wet this glass with some clean water. And here we will begin with Scarlet Lake to start our base layer. So this layer will be absolutely wet on wet and it will beautifully make our first layer. Here I'm applying wet brush on the outsides to create a beautiful blend. And now again I'm going with Vermilion, Vermilion Red to make my second layer. So here we are mixing Scarlet Lake and Vermilion Red to make two separate shades of wine. Now let's make the bottle. For that I am again wetting the surface with clean water and let's go ahead and apply some black to make the first layer that will dry up very pale. So here I have mixed in a little of black with mauve to have a greyish tinge. And for the second layer, I'm just applying direct black to make a shade variance. And I'm applying yellow ochre for making the sticker on the bottle. After it dries up, I have picked up black directly and I'm applying very carefully the second layer that forms the shape of the bottle. Now I picked up my wet brush that was clean and I'm softening the edges of the black. And rest complete the other layers with the same technique. Here with black, let's write the name on the bottle. You can write any name you want. And now I have again picked up vermilion to make my second layer on the wine. As I wanted the edges to be very smooth, I have cleaned my brush and with water on the edge, I am dragging it inwards so that the outside hard edges are not visible. Using vermilion again for the base of the glass. So friends, I hope you are able to follow till here. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I upload one step-by-step -step tutorial every week so that you know exactly what to do and achieve the same look as I am doing. 
So do click the bell icon as well and hit that like button to support me in this journey. So now I have made the wine with the same vermilion color and with gray I am making the rim of the glass. Here we will fill up grey colour in this glass stand and my bottle doesn't need any outlining so let's go ahead and finally do my favourite part which is the background. Let me tell you friends that background is one of the most important factor to create a look of our painting. So for now I have applied some water and I went over the edges so that the edges soften up and with black and vermilion I am creating a very nice effect with water. So make sure your water is in the area which is larger than the color. Only then the color will bleed through every corner to that part and it will not create hard edges so that is very important to get a beautiful edge. Friends, I'm based in India and all of the links for all of the supplies I am using will be linked under the description below so do check them out because I am getting a lot of DMs on Instagram regarding inquiries about these paper I'm using the color palette and different things so do check out the description box for the links for these or whatever is available I'll put the links under and friends do connect with me on Instagram at Easy Paintings by Ishita. I do upload a lot of con content over there regarding reels and the other daily work that I'm doing because very few comes on YouTube because the process is very lengthy for recording, editing. So a lot more goes into my Instagram profile. So do check them out. Here yeah, I wanted the bottom to be very cloudy and intense so I'm trying to do the clouds with my first layer we will see how it goes else we will layer more and as the first bottom side is dry we will be making the top side of the glass with the same process that we just followed. So friends, this painting actually took me about 30 minutes to complete that I'm squeezing it into about 12 to 13 minutes. So do give yourself some time, go slow, and I'm sure your, yours will turn out as good as mine. And if you happen to make it, do share with me on Instagram by tagging me at Easy Paintings by Ishita. I would love to see them. So here I was not very satisfied with how it looked so I decided on doing some hard edges. So wet on dry I'm making these clouds of vermilion red and then we will see how it looks after drying. Here the top part of the glass is uneven as compared to the bottom part so I'm extending the red color till the edge of the paper. And after drying up this is how it looks. I loved the hard edges because it does look like little clouds. So let me just make some more of these hard edges. Uh, 
wet on dry and then we will see how it looks further. And friends, I paint with daylight and it's rainy season here in India. So all the time we have clouds in the sky. So it is becoming very difficult to maintain the lighting. So kindly bear with me if there is the issue with some lighting. And for the final step, I'm using my white gel pen, which I absolutely love to create some highlights onto the glass. And no painting of mine is ever complete without the splashes so let's do that are you a splash fan do let me know under the comments I would love to hear from y'all so here is my final painting I absolutely loved how it turned out I hope you do give it a try and share with me at easy paintings by Ishita on Instagram I would be waiting to see it so thank you very much for watching till here do consider subscribing and following the updates up with pressing the bell icon for notifications. Have a lovely day guys. Bye bye. See you soon.